Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tina and I'm a full-time reseller and today I'm headed out to a community sale. Uh, this one I haven't been to in a couple years. It's it's so-so, but I do like the fact that everything is in one area, so it's a little less driving. It's just boom, 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 you know, move from one to the other. So when I do find a community sale, I do like to try to hit those. Uh, coming up, I actually see a yard sale, so I think I'm going to stop here real quick and see what is here. I don't know if they're all set up, but they might be. I'm going to make a quick stop here, and uh, we'll see. We'll see what this is about. Once you enter the driveway, you're not allowed to leave empty-handed. <laughs> is that is that how it goes? <laughs> <They're a hostage. clears throat> That's kind of cool. Why is it more stickers? Is this your stuff here? No. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. Right, well, I didn't buy anything at that sale. I did like the lamp, but I don't know. I just didn't want to start. I didn't want to start the day off driving around with that. What's that? Oh, I'll take it. Oh yeah. Okay. Are you sure, sure you want to get it? <laughs> Yeah, watch that thing underneath there. Both. A dollar a piece. I have China, I have a Keurig over there. Wow, that's nice. I definitely don't want to 
to everything in this bag right here is uh, this bag comes with uh, oh with that it's all the hanging stuff the hanging yeah and I have a bigger uh, chandelier a bigger one than this and oh. I have it in the car it's that a matching really cool. one how much is that out of curiosity Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. Oh, wow. And everything is there? Everything is here, yes. Huh. Now, you can, you can get, if you get both uh, and all this goes together. Yeah. Tempting. I'll think about it. Thank okay, you. Okay, you're welcome. And there's a, a hanging Hi. When, tomorrow at my place, I'll find those pictures, okay? Oh, I live pro, do yes, yes, I live pro. That's what I need. Mean. The cookies, okay. Soft clothes, I know. They're cute, aren't they? They are. I found exactly what I need. But they're getting bigger dolls. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. I'm going to buy that. <laughs> but what if there's more? Yeah, but that's the same yeah. price. Yeah. I'm gonna keep really looking. Do they have a sale section? This one's ten cents. Whatever you be shot. My eyes are a mess. You make a offer. Oh, hi. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Oh, all right. I'm just worried about my eyes. Someone of told me they they <laughs> they said your eyes are going south. <laughs> now I gotta fix them. <laughs> I can't afford a plastic surgeon. No. <laughs> Isn't that Make an offer. Uh, I no, got I'm, I got a whole set at eight place China set free. Oh, okay. Anybody who wants it. Hmm. What's it look like? There you go. I also like to clowns. Some of those cow parades can do okay, but it's a little pricey. All right, guys, so it's a day later, and now I'm going to show you the haul of what I got at this community sale. So as predicted, it wasn't super fantastic, but I found a, a few cool items and some things I'm keeping for myself. Actually, quite a few things this time around. Uh, first thing, I'll just kind of drop the picture up here because I'm definitely not hauling this in. It's a basically like a plastic garden fence and some poles. I have a little raised garden bed and the deer always eat everything. So I bought this fence for $3 and the poles for a dollar each. So $7 total. And it's currently outside waiting for me to kind of hammer the poles in and erect the fence. So anyway, then I purchased this set. I've shown these before. I've shown you serving pieces actually, but I've I've sold these before. That's funny, there's a dollar sticker here, but there's a $3 sticker inside. And I did ask her if she would take two and she said yes. So I got these for $2. So two salad kind of plates and two bowls. It's melamine, so it's like a plastic, like outdoor set. Like I said, I've sold this pattern before, so I know it'll sell again. 
And then I got this Wii Fling Smash game. This was a dollar. It's in here, the little booklets in here and everything. So it looks good. I will probably lot this with some other decent games once I get them. I picked this set up. I thought it was really cool. I don't know if it's vintage, but he had a lot of vintage stuff. Look at the colors on this. I just loved it. And I mean, you could probably use it together or separately, but it was a dollar for the bowl and the plate together. So I just could not pass that up. I just, I think this is so beautiful. And at the same place, I picked this up. This is a vintage trolley bell from a trolley car. It somehow hangs and then you like ring it. I don't know, maybe it hangs on its side. I know it does work. <laughs> just have to figure out how it works. Oh, I think like that. I don't know. Anyway, vintage trolley bell that I'm playing around with. And it says SFC Co. I think this one might bring around $30. It is brass. Some of them bring more, but they usually have a more intricate design. And this is just kind of plain. So I'm thinking about $30 for this. And I paid three for it. So then I picked this up for a dollar. This is one of these Perplexus puzzle balls. I picked this up because I still have two of them and I was waiting to find another to kind of lot them together. I've sold these before in a lot of three for $27.99. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put that in the lot with the other two that I have. I picked up this American Girl dress for 10 cents. So that was a great deal. This. This looks like the original dress or the meat dress as they call them. Uh, this looks like the meat dress to one of the dolls and I cannot think which one at the moment, but I will have to look that up. All right, and then I got this. This is just a sleeveless shirt. It just, it was kind of like beachy to me, tropical vacation wear maybe just a sleeveless made by I don't even know what that says but I imagine someone bought this on vacation I paid a dollar for that all right then I picked these up my mom actually picked one of them they had four these are like chalkware chalkware heads I don't know if they're gonna really bring much but they had four of them. My mom actually picked up one of them. She didn't like the other three, so I bought them because they were only 50 cents a piece. But she kept one because she has a collection of, she really likes masks and faces and stuff like that. She has a pretty cool collection of them hanging on one of her walls. So these are, let's see see if I can show you all three at once. These are the three that I got. So $1.50 total. And she picked up one that was like an Indian chief. So we'll see. They're not marked or anything. So I don't really know like the maker or anything like that, but we'll see how they do. And then I picked this up. I know I showed this. I definitely showed this in the video. I paid $5 for it. It looks like it was marked down at one point. Yes, they did have $10 on it. And this is Park Sherman. It is marked. I've never sold Park Sherman, so I will have to look that up. But I just picked this up because it looked cool and I love, love, love vintage barware. I actually sold a couple pieces of vintage barware this weekend and those will be in my what sold video this week so check that out just a very cool set you would fill the bottom with whatever your liquor choice is and then you just kind of pump the shots and I don't know but I think that would look so cool displayed 
in someone's bar or man cave or something like that. I just love vintage barware. I don't know why. It's just totally one of my favorite things. All right. So then I picked up this set. I know I showed this in the video as well. I picked up this set of flatware for $3. It probably isn't going to bring crazy money, but it is, it's Orleans or Orleans silverware, flatware, stainless. It's a pretty cool design. I will have to look up the pattern. I'm not sure of it, but for $3, can't go wrong. I will piece this out. And by that, I mean, you know, I'll list lots like four forks, four forks, four spoons, and four forks. Here we have the forks. Oh, we still have a spoon. The spoons really want to jump in there. So anyway, that's what I mean when I say piece it out or part it out. I won't sell the set as a whole is basically what that means. I got this for a dollar. This is a creamer. It's a Waterford town and country Normandy. Haven't looked that pattern up at Waterford. Waterford for a dollar. I will chance it. Leo Sophia, which I know is very expensive when you buy it new. Not so much resale, but this was in really nice condition and I thought it was really pretty. So for a dollar, I picked that up. Then I picked up this purse. This is a Sack Roots purse. She wanted 20 and I asked her if she would take 15 and she said yes. So now if I was buying this for resale, I probably would not have paid $15 but I bought this for myself. I love Sack Roots. It's like one of my favorite brands. It's like a coated canvas, so you can wipe it off. I actually have one that I use right now that I've been using for a year. I don't change my bags very often, but uh, this is really nice condition and it's a crossbody, so I can just fling it on and go. I don't have to worry about like carrying anything on my shoulder or anything, so yeah. $15. I was excited to find these. These are expensive, especially when you go into the store to buy them. So this I picked up for $1, which I was really shocked that he said a dollar because a lot of the other stuff the man had priced really high. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous paperweight. And the only thing, it's not signed that I see but it comes with a base that illuminates it. So this is gonna look gorgeous all lit up. I, I actually saw he had it lit up when I bought it. So I picked that up for a dollar and I should be able to get 30 for that. If it was marked, probably higher. Okay, so another thing I got for myself I just really liked it. Very boho. And the woman said that it does work. It, it is, it's newer. Hobby Lobby. It's a newer piece. But I just love the look of it. I think it's really cool. And I paid $2 for it. So super excited about that and I really hope that it does work like she said it does and I think it probably does. So I picked up a few clothing items. These were a dollar a piece. This is a J. Jill just like a lavender basic top. This is Quacker Factory by QVC. Very sequiny and it's a 1x so that should do well it looks it looks brand new it doesn't look like it's been worn then i have this this is vertical limit not sure what that brand is but again this looks very kind of like beachy vacation like it's got the fish it's got front pockets and i think that will sell well then i picked up all these little sticky notes and whatnot that i got for myself as well. I will keep those. There's the pugs. You know I had to buy it because anything with a pug, I need. I just want to drink coffee and be left alone. Honestly, this is so me that you really have no idea. So 
this is mine. This is a keeper. I paid a dollar for this. I paid a dollar for these two. And then this is just a Life is Good mug. It says Iron Man. He's a golfer. And I paid a dollar for this. All right. Nesting measuring cups. Very basic. Very plain. I needed some because I constantly lose them. I have no idea how, but these are for me also. I told you, I found a lot of stuff to keep this time around. And then I paid three dollars for this set this is when by oh what is the guy's name Chaz Chaz something or other he's on QVC and this is a sweet almond mint nourishing mousse and sweet almond mint styling cream I will have to look these up they're both new and sealed in the plastic stuff or whatever so I figured I would take a chance on these I know there were some issues with some of the shampoos and conditioners at one point so hopefully it's not this particular item alrighty so one last bag then one last bag I knew this was gonna be a quick one all right so a pair of aerosols heel rest these are like brand new three dollars very good condition. And then I picked up a whole mess of tea towels. Okay, after in my last video, I skipped over an entire box or two of linens and doilies and whatnot. And I said, I really don't know a whole lot about it. And I don't, but I will pick stuff up time to time if it looks cool to me. Now, a bunch of plain crocheted doilies I don't know. I don't know a whole lot about, but I will sell crocheted blankets, afghans, stuff like that I have before. I have picked those up if they look really cool to me. See, the, the plain stuff doesn't stand out to me, but some stuff does. Now, I did actually just list some hand towels, vintage hand towels or tea towels today. So anyway, I picked these up 25 cents a piece because they looked cool. So when I say I pass something over, it doesn't mean that I always pass it over. All right, so anyway, first one, if you fold it in half, I guess you have a cat on both sides. I thought that was really cool and it is marked Pat Pritchard and it also has 100% Belgian linen right there, a little sticker. So I thought that was really neat looking. She also had, I mean, this woman had a couple boxes of this stuff and she had a lot of them that were calendars from the 60s, the 70s. And I thought, well, who would want a calendar from 1967? I came home and I was looking some of these up and then I see a lot of the calendars that are selling for 10 to $15. I couldn't believe it. But then I'm thinking about it and I'm like, okay, maybe it's the year someone was born or the year of something significant in their life and they wanna have something from that year. So I'm kind of sad that I didn't make her an offer and just take all of it. But you live and learn, right? Next time I will do something like that. All right, so this one is Falani and Cohen maybe? all linen. I don't know. I've never, I've never heard of that, but also check that out. This is like just so cool to me. And I looked up something similar to this, not that brand. I have to actually, I didn't realize, but I looked up and I found something very similar to this and these sell between 20 and $30. And then this one, this is no matter where I serve my guests, they seem to like my kitchen best. I've heard of that before, but this is just, just kind of neat. And it's got the same little tag on it, all linen. So like I said, 25 cents a piece. I think I got $2 worth. I think I got eight of them. And then this is 
Is it the same brand? I don't see a brand on this one. But this is a poodle dog. These also seem to sell well online, the ones with the dogs. And then check this guy out. Look at that corgi. How freaking cute is that corgi? Oh my God. And this is marked GJA. Don't know what that is, but that is just super adorable if you ask me. I am showing you guys every one of these because I think they're so cool. I love like vintage prints and stuff. So check this one out. This is my beloved chicken. <laughs> oh man, this is, oh, this is George's Briard or Briard. Never know how to say that, but I say it anyway. That is super cool. <clears throat> then this is a Waterford Crystal. Look at that. Oh, well, you know what? The light behind me is kind of casting a bit of a glare through it, but yeah, made in Ireland. That I thought that was really neat. And then this one, this is just a balanced diet. I just thought that was kind of cool. It's got like all the different all kinds of different healthy foods and the calories and I don't know I just thought that was kind of neat it's sundew linens hand printed in Ireland how cool are these I am like really excited about these and then I got this is actually another of the poodle dogs so I got two of the same I didn't even realize that okay and then this last piece is actually not a tea towel I don't know what this is it's just fabric it's just fabric and it's like it's really long not wide but long like it could be like a table runner or something it does feel like it's linen i have no idea but it's just got it's got a cool print to it if you guys know anything about this let me know if any of you know like vintage linens this is like so super long this is super long this has to be like close to 200 inches I think long honestly but it I don't even know what kind of print this would be like Mexican maybe but yet it's kind of got like Jamaican colors but it's got like a donkey or a mule and sombrero I don't know I don't really know anything about this oh wait it does have a marking on it what does it say is a dollar fifty linen why would someone write that on there well that's kind of messed up but I mean you could always cut that piece out but anyway the print stood out to me so that's why I got it so yeah if you guys know anything about this drop it in the comments and let me know all right well even though I didn't feel like I bought a whole lot this haul kind of took a little while I just get talking and you know how it goes with me if you've watched my videos before. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought of this haul. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and hit that little bell button so you get notifications every time I upload. Until next time. Bye.